hello everyone. Thank you for giving me this time. Uh, I'm uh, so going to present or work about uh, the evolution of CI usages and uh, GitHub actions. Uh, I'm a PhD student at the University of Mons, working with Professor Tom Mans in Software Engineering Lab. Um, a classical software development includes some steps, and in the uh, past, most of these steps was done manually and in an exhaustive way. Uh, um, but recently, with the advent of collaborative software development uh, tools uh, and the collaborative software development, uh, it is not like before anymore. It's a standard practices uh, for most modern development that includes uh, extreme programming, agile development, and many contributors to, uh, contribute to the code uh, and they work remotely and asynchronously uh, to achieve their goal. And they make changes to the code, merge them frequently uh, uh, in, order to achieve, uh, in order to get their uh, uh, results faster, and the, this results in the less bug and the integration issues, which discovers earlier in the development process. They use a central server and a single code base, and uh, uh, the, in order to automate uh, build tests and uh, deploy, they use uh, different tools uh, like uh, specific version uh, version control tools, collab or uh, collaborative coding platforms like GitHub, and also uh, continuous integration tools. Uh, what is CI-CD? Uh, CI-CD is a combination of two diff different but related concepts. Uh, first one, continuous integration, and the second one, continuous deployment. For many developers, uh, it's the process of codifying uh, the codifying the workflow of the um, development, uh, but uh, they use it to automatically build, uh, execute tests, and every time uh, the member of the uh, team members contribute to the code base. Uh, then they use also it to automatically deploy it to the production, and they also use it uh, to generate some code quality metrics like uh, code coverage, test coverage, sorry. There are several different CI CD tools available. Uh, and uh, as earliest uh, tools, we can uh, name Cruise Control and Jenkins. And uh, uh, recently, not recently actually, but uh, Travis CI works for almost 10 years. and. Uh, uh, a lot of other CIs and recently GitHub Actions. Uh, nowadays, uh, uh, these tools are inseparable parts of software development and uh, they are widely used and quite prevalent in the uh, these in data sets uh, in the uh, GitHub repository. Sorry. Uh, we created a, a data, data set from repositories and we found that uh, uh, half of the repositories using, are using uh, these tools. Uh, understanding their usage is important because uh, uh, it will allow us to uh, know their specification, their trends, and makes it possible to have better choice uh, when we want to choose a CI CD tool. Uh, we found uh, a lot of studies are mostly about uh, Travis, and we we uh, could not find a lot of information about other CIs in the uh, CI in the studies related about CI. And it's also interesting for CI CD providers, CI CD service providers. Uh, in order to be able to uh, study CI usages in collaborative software development platforms, we need a data set. So we uh, choose NPN ecosystem, uh, which is most popular package re registry. We uh, found uh, and we uh, extracted uh, 1.56 million packages, scope packages from the available API, and we managed to uh, find uh, around eight, uh, 800k packages with GitHub repository, associated GitHub repository. And then 
we cloned this repository from GitHub, uh, and we managed to find uh, 676k repositories. Then we excluded forks, 11,000 forks, and then we excluded inactive repositories. By inactive rep repositories, I mean those that are, were not active in the last year of observation period, and more precisely, uh, had no commit between uh, May 2020 and May 2021. We ended up with uh, 200 and 200,000 repositories, and we looked for the presence of CI file, uh, CI configuration file in these repositories. Uh, finally, we found uh, 190,000 uh, CI usages in 91, 800,000. Uh, 91,800 uh, repositories. Uh, when we analyzed the data set, we immediately noticed that the uh, most widely CI used is Travis. Uh, it started in uh, 2011 as a continuous integration platform and most popular CI uh, in GitHub for many years and was providing free CI service uh, for public repositories. Uh, support, uh, supporting a wide range of languages, wide range of operating system uh, in the form of virtual environments. And uh, uh, the, the use of Travis in repository can be detected by the presence of pipeline file uh, that Travis.yaml. Uh, um, as I explained, the most, uh, uh, in the study of literature review, we found that most uh, studies are about Travis. In this figure, uh, we observe the cumulative number of uh, repositories using uh, uh, these CIs. We focused uh, in initial data set, we found uh, 20 type of CIs, but we uh, kept only seven CIs that's uh, covering 99% uh, of CI usages. Uh, the other ones, we excluded them from the study. Uh, the figure, uh, uh, may seem a little bit strange, but uh, it has two scale in the upper part and the lower part. We see that uh, we observe that the, uh, the long for a long time, Travis was the dominant CI for, uh, for about nine years, and by introduction of actions uh, in the less than eighteen months, uh, uh, it in, it's taking over the the dominance of the. Uh, uh, what's GitHub Action? It's a recent uh, feature of uh, GitHub uh, starting in August 2019, uh, a free CI service uh, integrated to GitHub and uh, it supports free CI service uh, and makes it possible to create custom actions and provide a marketplace of more than 10,000 actions but it's mostly used as a CI CD tool. Uh, and the, the point of the, uh, the, main, the main advantage of using uh, Actions is that it's easy to use and uh, it's integrated to GitHub Action. It's integrated to GitHub, so. Uh, we, uh, we observed something happened uh, in the, uh, this figure after introduction of Actions. But uh, we still observe that uh, the, uh, the use of CIs like Circle CI and uh, Appear and um, Travis is increasing. Uh, we can observe a little decrease in the use of uh, Appear. Uh, but uh, in order to uh, get deeper uh, look at into the, the CI churn, we decided to analyze the churn of CIs uh, in the last three years. Uh, we can observe that uh, although there are a lot of, uh, there are still increasing uh, use of, uh, um, the use of the cumulative number of repositories using uh, CIs is increasing, but uh, the, we can observe a decrease in the uh, um, CI, uh, some of the in the adoption of some of the CIs like Appear, like Azure, and like Circle CI, uh, and also thanks to this figure, we can observe 
uh, that uh, uh, some of CI, despite there are lots of repositories that adopted the CI, sometimes there are lots of repositories that stop using them or the term used discontinued the using of that CI. Uh, uh, we also observe no discontinuation for uh, GitHub Actions uh, and also uh, and uh, we see the introduction of Actions has different effect on the uh, different competitors uh, so we decided to analyze uh, this effect on the CI. Uh, other CI, uh, we to, in order to be able to uh, uh, analyze the effect of uh, CI, uh, the per introduction of actions, we used a statistical analysis of and a statistical technique of regression discontinuity analysis. The purpose of RDD is that to see how the normal trend in something is affected by the presence of another effect. So as you can see, the slope has changed uh, in this example figure before and after of the introduction of the events. Uh, uh, we uh, found a statistic, uh, we analyzed the effect of GitHub actions on the other CIs and we found uh, a statistically significant effect of introduction of actions on Travis, Circle CI and Azure. As you can see, the uh, the slope uh, has changed uh, before and after of, uh, the introduction of actions in the adoption uh, in the monthly uh, number of uh, number of usage in, uh, in the, the repositories. Uh, in the in this figure, uh, we observed a, a strange and a peak uh, here. Uh, it's, it was a long time after introduction of actions. We decided to analyze this peak. Uh, we, uh, in this figure, we observed the, adopting, uh, the number of adoptions and discontinuation of uh, Travis. Uh, after in, although after introduction of uh, GitHub actions, the number of uh, discontinuations is increasing, but something strange is happening here. We looked for uh, GitHub uh, news and GitHub blogs. We found that in this, at this uh, date, GitHub has, uh, Travis has changed the, the free plan of uh, usage of Travis. And uh, we noticed that there are a lot of discontinuation happened after this uh, date. And we uh, noticed that uh, they are, most of them are migrating uh, to GitHub Actions. Uh, we talked about GitHub uh, migration, but we didn't define it. Uh, how we define a migration from one CI to another CI? Uh, we uh, consider a migration uh, of a, from uh, CI A to CI B if it happens 30 days before stop using uh, start using the a stop using of CI A happens 30 days before. Uh, start using B, B or 30 days after uh, uh, start using B. Uh, uh, but not all migrations are toward GHA and not all migrations are from Travis. To In order to uh, analyze the migrations, uh, we created this table uh, from uh, 53,000 repositories using Travis. We see 11,000 repositories migrating from uh, Travis to uh, Travis to others it's almost 21 percent uh, 929 from github actions which is uh, very few for circle CI and uh, uh, others we observe the numbers and we also uh, analyzed the migrated toward CI we see that there are a lot of migrations toward actions but uh, in order, to uh, see the detail, uh, we created this figure. We observed the number of migration from different CIs uh, to toward other CIs. Uh, we observed that uh, actions uh, proportionally represent the vast majority of the target of migrations, regardless of the considered CIs to G, uh, from Travis and others. 
and uh, also uh, actions attracted uh, ninety six percent of my, my, all migration away from Azure, as you can see in this figure. And uh, we also observed that uh, uh, even if actions still account for forty one percent of migrations. Uh, from Jenkins, the migration from Jenkins uh, toward uh, CircleCI and Travis are also happening. Uh, we observe most of the migration from uh, CircleCI are from uh, to, or toward GHA and Travis, and we observe most of the migrations from Travis or toward CircleCI and uh, GitHub Actions. Uh, Mm, we in uh, here we observe most of the migration towards circle CI are ninety three percent of them are from uh, Travis and also uh, for uh, migration from uh, other CI to Travis uh, are mostly done from circle CI and GitLab CI uh, in here. The, the second most frequent source of migration to Azure is from AppFear and also uh, Travis. Uh, sorry, I I think I uh, passed the time for takeaway. Uh, CI/CD tools 